Tyler Luce, who was out last season, obviously, uh, with an injury, is back and practicing and is fully cleared. He and Ryan Brown are competing at that position. Uh, left guard Tyler Pitt and Aiden Conlon uh, will be competing at that spot. Tyler Pitt's a guy that has played both guard and tackle, very athletic, he's a state champion wrestler in high school. He's grown up a lot in the program. Excited to see the competition there. We did move Logan Pegram, who started at guard here for 22 games, uh, to center. It's just my philosophy that our most experienced player would be the guy that snaps the ball and makes the line calls for our offense. And uh, Logan was our backup center a year ago, and uh, so he has all the capabilities to be in there. I know he's excited about being the captain of that front. And Mike Gagner will back him up. When we moved Logan inside, we moved. Uh, Andrew Ness outside the guard, and he's uh, in the position right now where he's starting at right guard with Matt Killian behind him. And then a right tackle, uh, Matt Krimple comes back to us. Um, Matt had an injury to his knee a few years back and used last year really to get healthy again and uh, is in really good shape right now. He's, he's looking good, and he's backed up by Wes Ott. You know, we have the ability to bump a guy outside, too, you know, with Pitt being a guy that can swing back to tackle. So. Feel good about the depth there. Obviously, that's probably the biggest question mark I think people have is just the lack of experience on our offensive line. Um, I like how many players we have there that have played. I really like the young players that we redshirted last year, and, and Conlon, and, and Ness, and Killian. And so I feel good about the depth we have. Now it's just putting the puzzle together and getting those guys enough reps. Playing on the O-lines, the O-line is a family within a family. For any of you guys that played football know where I'm coming from. They're different. Um, they get no attention unless they screw up. You know, um, when we win, no one will say anything about them. And they do a lot of dirty work. And um, they've got to kind of have their own little niche. And, and those guys are very tight knit. I know Coach Carey's going to do a great job with them. And that's going to be fun to watch them kind of grow throughout camp. It's similar to what our D line was a year ago. Uh, the tight end position, Jason Shepler practiced yesterday. And um, we are giving Jason uh, every other day off to rest. Just we don't want to overdo it too too quick with his knee. So if you guys are out there and don't see him, that's what's going on. But he had a great day yesterday. It was really fun to watch him. Players went nuts when he had a little catch. And he's uh, he's doing extremely well. Uh, Tim Simich and Luke Ekus are, are also playing tight end for us. And then a fullback, Rob uh, Sterling and Ricky Connors, are two guys that you'll see when we get into our fullback uh, formations. Quarterback position, a lot's been said already about uh, what we lost at that spot, and I'm just excited to see what Jordan will do now that it's his turn. Um, I don't expect anyone that leaves to fill the shoes of who left. I expect them to be who they are, as good as they can be. And Jordan will be different than what Chandler was. He'll be himself, which is pretty darn good. He's very athletic, very competitive. He's got a lot of grit. Um, he's a physical runner. And I think people will be excited about what he brings to the game for us. You know, whether his numbers end up the same way Chandler's did, we'll see. You know, all I care about at the end is the wins and losses, and that's one thing I feel comfortable with with Jordan. Matt McIntosh took the majority of the two reps in the spring. You guys know that. And uh, he had a great day yesterday. Um, the two freshmen we brought in, Drew Hare and Matt Williams, are very good players. And so there's going to be good competition there to see who ends up not just being the three, but eventually competing with Matt to maybe see if one of those guys is good enough to be in there in that, that conversation. It's too early, obviously, to say that. But I wouldn't be surprised um, to see one of those two guys as a freshman at least travel with us as an emergency redshirt type guy. Um, running back situation, I know a lot of people want to know where that's going. I do, too. Um, I think Akeem Daniels is our most dependable guy in the backfield right now. Keem's probably the guy that we trust the most, uh, has made the most plays, and uh, is the most versatile at all of them. Had a great summer, is doing extremely well in the classroom. And so he's the guy right now that you'll see probably the most with the first group. Um, obviously, Leighton Settle's a guy, if he stays healthy, can help us. And uh, Jamal Womble, Cameron Stingley, and, and Perez Ford are three of our bigger backs, and we'll see where that competition goes. Perez had a, a very good day yesterday. Again, we're not in full pads yet, but for a true freshman, he really stood out. In the receiver group, uh, Martel Moore and, and Perez Ashford obviously return as playmakers for us. Tommy Lee Lewis probably had our best spring um, as a slot receiver. And then we also return Jamison Wells, plays baseball and football for us here at NIU, and, and Deron Brown. 
And then on the outside, AJ uh, Angelo Sebastiano and Juwan Breskison are two guys that redshirted last year that I think are going to help us this year. So um, specialist-wise, Ryan Neer, Matt Sims, and Brian Mayer are our three specialists all return. And so last year that was a question mark. This year it's not. And, our punt team last year gave up an average of less than one yard per return, which I think is outstanding. And part of that's the coverage and the scheme, but a lot of that is Ryan Neer. And uh, we look forward to him having a great senior year for us. Obviously, Matt had two pressure kicks, and I think did a lot more than people expected as our place kicker last year. And uh, Tyler Weedle will still handle our, our kickoffs. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, our defensive line, Sean Progar and Alan Baxter are both back at end, and, and uh, look for them to pick up where they left off on the ball. Jefferson and uh, Kent Bishop and Anthony Wells and Donovan Gordon will be our four-man rotation inside. You'll also see Joe Windsor and Jason Meehan on the outside. And we'll rotate. We played as many as ten guys last year on our defensive line, and I wouldn't expect to see any different there. Uh, at linebacker, I think we have uh, improved quite a bit there. Tyrone Clark. Tyrone is the leader of our football team, uh, without a doubt. He's done everything that uh, anybody could do from a work ethic standpoint to make us a better football team, to lead our players. And uh, Tyrone will start as our boundary linebacker. He's backed up by Michael Santa Cantarina. Uh, our middle linebacker, uh, Victor Jacques, backed up by Boomer Mays. Really excited about where those two guys are going to go. Vic's a senior, he's a hungry player, he wants to prove himself. He finished the year playing extremely well for us. He was one of our best special teamers last year. Uh, Boomer Mays was a redshirt that's also a long snapper that uh, is the all-time state tackle tackler in the state of Kansas. Uh, had over 400 career tackles in high school. And then Jamal Bass uh, will start as our field linebacker and we moved to safety to back him up here in the last couple days, uh, Rasheen Lemon was playing safety for us, is now also playing uh, in the field linebacker position. Look forward to seeing Rock out there. In the secondary, we return um, our secondary, Rashawn Melvin, senior corner, backed up by Sean Evans and Paris Logan, um, Johnny Faustin, Demetrius Stone, and Marky Hayes on the other side of the corner, Jimmy Ward, and Deshaun Durant return at safety, and I think we have two of the better safeties in the MAC conference, two guys that a lot of schools would love to have. Uh, backed up by Dominic Ware, Trey Moore, and Courtney Stevens. So that kind of rounds out our defense. Uh, they're working hard. I can't tell you how good we're going to be until we get pads on. I think the game's played as a physical game right now, and we're just teaching fundamentals and schemes. And it will become very physical here in the next three or four days, so we'll know a lot more about where we stand. You know, I, I think our guys understand that we have to work to get everything we're going to get. I told him yesterday that I do believe in karma, I do believe in the football gods, and we need to do everything that we can to make sure both are smiling on us at the end of the year.